Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of The Binding of Isaac. We are jumping in for the episode that I kind of mentioned over the past few videos. Basically, we're going to be speaking to one of the contributors to a few different mod teams, mainly being Epiphany, as well as the uh, Team Compliance, which has done quite a few different mods out there. Um, hello, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Hey, uh, I'm Lee Starvin. I do work for the mods that were currently mentioned. I usually do rooms as well as like quality assurance and playtesting but mostly my specialty is rooms and things like that nice yeah i was kind of speaking just before we started the recording here about the fact that obviously i'd worked on a bunch of different uh room mods as well obviously i've got a few of the popular ones in isaac and i've also worked on like enter the gungeon rooms as well we also we're gonna do a co-op run here normally like when i play with never named we just do sort of like a uh, backseat sort of thing where one person talks, one person plays. But we're going to jump in as I'm, I'm going to play, play as Maggie here, and Wustavin's going to play as one of the Epiphany characters. And show me how it's done in terms of playing as, um, <laughs> as Samson, because I, my brain could not well, comprehend. I may, I may not be super good because I'm on controller. I'm usually not. Yeah, also so, so I gotta say, there's a few um, things. There is both the fact that he is on controller and he is, ow. like, he's in America, I'm in the UK, so there is definitely gonna be some input lag here. Hi. Uh, okay, so I need to tell you about this rock that you keep showing, that you keep showing yeah. up. So it drops a trinket, and I, I think this is already out of the bag, so I can say this. But in the restored item collection, uh, you can, what is it? What could you do? Oh, it drops a trinket. And when you die to a fire, you unlock a challenge with a special character. Okay. Mm. Uh, maybe you could do that like some other episode. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Interesting. Uh, this yeah, is you, the, you, you, your, your I think close I should, up, so you should yeah, yeah, your close ups, you should take it. Definitely. I played as Maggie just because I want a bit of safety when we're playing as uh, in Yeah, I'm probably going to be taking a bunch of damage because... I also uh, was like, hmm, sacrifice room. <laughs> yeah, also that. Alright, uh... One thing in your Samson video, you were saying like, uh, oh, he's... He feels like really weak. Killer Instinct charges like really often. Oh, look at that. It's a tasty penny. Yeah, it is. It's very useful yeah. for the situation right here. It got resprayed recently. It's pretty nice. Oh, I get healed more as well because we're playing co-op. Yeah. And then... I guess we could do this one thing. Uh, if we want the keys, we could just go right in and do this. See, and it does a bit of damage. Let's give it a go. Why not? I'm to say, to be fair, you're going to be able to do a lot more damage than I am. Yeah, you could pick up the rocks, too. A lot of the yeah, characters cool. are very compatible with co-op. Pretty cool, that, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, uh, gimme. Horrible. I'm dying, oh, no. I'm dying. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'll live. Activate rage mode. <laughs> yeah. That's another thing, like, uh, a big thing with the Epiphany characters is that a lot of them are very complicated. Or yeah, that, 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 seems, that seems to be people's main sort of gripe with them. Yeah. My thing is that, or our, like, whole design philosophy is that you should be able to understand them as well as the vanilla characters. I'll take this much, and then we could just go. Maybe squeeze and get this. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Cool. All right, got it. <laughs> um, but... yeah, I, I kind, I kind of get it. it it's, it, I kind of spoke about it in. I think it was my uh, video I did on tarnished Isaac. Yeah, I kind of yeah. said how like I get it because you want to stay on the theme of the character, but at the same time, like you've got to make it unique and something interesting. But also, mm -hmm. like it's really, really hard to make something unique in Isaac for a character that isn't just like taking the existing mechanic and adding it to a character, because that's what a lot of them kind of do. Like, Andromeda, really goddamn cool character, but in terms of how unique he is, realistically the only super unique thing is the ability to flip the item rooms into the abandoned planetariums. The actual stuff he starts with is just two oh, vanilla. vanilla items. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's really cool. That's like, that and Mastema, I think uh, oh, you've played with that mod before, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Mastema. Use, use vanilla mechanics so well. 
they just do, like yeah. and, and make it spin into a unique character that is such an amazing design i i, I really really enjoy uh mods that, that do that they'll take something vanilla that's underutilized and do more with them uh one of the one of the mods that i use that people ask me about literally every video is something wicked um that is obviously unpublished but yeah. i'm sort of being kind of an unofficial tester for eventually it'll be published who knows when um, yeah. But anyways, <laughs> it's literally been unpublished like a year and a half at this point, but eh, whatever. Um, yeah. But yeah, so that mod does a really, really good job of their items taking vanilla things and doing cool things with them. I really, really like that. Yeah, like I remember this one item that makes a random rock a like a gold poop. What do I get from that? I get damage. I think I want yeah, that, right? I think so. I, I, don't, I don't care about the speed so much. I'll take, take that, that though. Yeah. Alright. Uh, uh, do you look for a secret room? Yeah, we could do that. I, mm, talk I, I, I think I think it's uh I think it's right here actually. Right below here. Yeah, it should but be down I'm, here. I'm 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 gonna just quickly check the uh Check up in this room, yeah. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I don't uh time. yeah, this this could be a secret. We've got just two bombs, we can check both. I always have to go to one of the actual square rooms. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I may not be lined up. I can't uh, for the life of me get it right otherwise. <laughs> I mean would it be worth it to just put a bomb here and get these both chests? I think would, I, would, would that get both the chests? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, I got one. <laughs> uh, really we get two bombs well back. Bomb. Hey. <laughs> we should also look for We're a winning. soul heart in the shop as well now that we've got five cent. Right, I can line yeah, up but... this one because there's a door here. Yeah. I think the whole thing with the... Ah. Oh, it's this guy. Kill him. <laughs> Hi, Grave Robber. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> oh, it's from the Restored Monsters pack. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, cool. I've just, just enabled that, so pretty cool to see that. Uh, yeah, I'll buy a soul heart. Why not? Yeah, they're a bit less common because Fiend Folio's got a bunch of stuff. Yeah, yeah, but obviously. I, Fiend, Fiend Folio is such a, like, two-headed coin, like, two-sided coin sort of thing. Like, it's great, such amazing content, but it does kind of stomp on other things quite heavily. <laughs> yeah, because it's got not only its own enemies, which is, like, a like I, chunk of them. I get so many comments on my room mod like do these rooms even exist it's like yes you just have fiend folio on <laughs> man like they're meant to I... be rare but they're exceedingly rare if you have fiend folio on penny lovely little penny. penny i think yeah this does kind of work because i know we have some fiend folio compatibility but uh specifically like samson's thing. Ooh, oh my god it's friendly obviously fly. we're gonna be doing this oh i forgot about that yeah oh bye <laughs> oh my god, the, no. that, that fly is interesting but oh oops oh. yeah the, it was like a separate mod originally and just added that item it was from after plus but they decided to port it to repentance yeah do you want the burn heart or, yeah i think i will all right we're ready to go oh <laughs> well hey look that's cool I think you're good gonna that. go crazy. Yeah, I'll take that, yeah. Extra up here is gonna go wild. Oh my oh. lord. I'm surprised I didn't kill all your things. Yes, I am, yeah. Yeah, so a big thing about this item, uh, risk reward, that he uses qual the quality system. Yeah. I've had a lot of gripes with the quality <laughs> system. Like every yes. modder I I wish the quality system just never existed because every single modder uses it. And it's like, oh, a dice that makes quality fours or increases the quality of an item, things like that. It, 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 it's, it's kind just... of, it's kind of one of those cop out mechanics, isn't it? Like, it's, it, they can, you can do some interesting stuff with it. I mean, like. On the theme of uh, Tainted Isaac, you guys have done tar uh, not Isaac, sorry, Lost. Tarnished You've done tar yeah. Tarnished Lost and uh, Tarnished Isaac that have sort of that idea, and it kind of works pretty well in that in that regard. But yeah, I do agree that it's one of those things that like it, it really doesn't need to exist, and it does just create more problems, and especially like in terms of modded items and stuff, it can be a bit, yeah. bit annoying. It's like uh, we had kind of a pact that after lost we would never do any quality related <laughs> things again it's probably we've been kind idea. of scrubbing the mod of anything quality based like quality is kind of like I don't, in the modding community is frowned Hold upon up. i guess full health. Let's do this yeah full room. health yeah, this is gonna be a lot but we try to completely uh ignore uh, quality mechanics and yeah. not touch it because it can be a semi good way to uh hey look it's this chest i like these chests this That's was really uh added with loss update Re oh what's this the hell? 
What's this? It re-rolls all items and upgrades them by a quality <laughs> level, but they have a 50% chance to disappear. Immediately, yeah. the quality level thing comes back. Quality. God, I hate quality so much. Problem it's careful. just... At, at least Tainted Loss uses... Let me uh, do this. We get the other key. Yeah. At exactly. least Tainted Loss uses quality, so we kind of have an excuse for Tarnished Loss. But we... yeah, yeah. also Isaac was kind of hard to expand upon with like the, the whole the, rerolling item thing. Exactly. That's that's the biggest difficulty we were saying earlier about like the characters being sometimes over complex because it's just really difficult to stay on theme and find a like a unique way to do that that isn't going to be complicated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were saying like I think the Epiphany team would do better if they just made characters mm. that weren't tied to the yeah, original ones. Definitely, but. I like the theming. You... I, th I think I think yeah. it's nice to have that theming, definitely. But like, so I, like I've been pretty vocal multiple times about Epiphany not being my style of mod. Um, I'm definitely warming up to it more now that they've reworked some of the characters and uh, some of the new ones that have come out. I think mm -hmm. I think it's it, it's clear oh. that as the uh, oh, I'll see what this is, the fool. Fool. Hey, um, look at this I'm thing. Too... Really, <laughs> man. Well, I mean, two coins. <laughs> uh, fun fact, this item is from Retribution. This is Nicalis's old logo. Oh, really? Yeah, and... Do, do you want to upgrade the quality to quality 4 with this one? Oh, yeah, I could. We don't have a uh, yet, though. Okay, it's oh, gone. it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. Um... Yeah, I gotta say, so, like, I, I think it's very clear that with every character Epiphany releases, the quality is going up and the, the experience quality. is going up. Like, quality um, items? No, not quality items. <laughs> Ooh, we got Brain that. Brain nice. Oh, God. Um, so, so, like, the past few characters, especially, like I said, I, I really, really like um, Tarnished Lost. I think Tarnished Lost is really interesting. I mean, I really just love Tainted Lost anyways, so I was bound to like it. Um, but, yeah, I, I really, really enjoyed uh, Tarnished Lost. I think it was really good. Um, and I'm, like, obviously excited to see what comes next. But I, I think, like, air, like, in the early days, I was just, just kind of, like, sort of, like, ugh fatigued on like another seaside character because everyone was doing it what, what was the other yeah. one there's another there's another like a seaside theme, character. i think i don't remember i know there was that i know some of the fiend folio devs were making uh or specifically one of them oh this item's cool yeah, yeah. you gotta take that um we'll uh get the thingy here we already have it <laughs> you're no, down with keys we got we oh got we have soul of isaac yeah, yeah. We got Soul of Isaac, so we'll get Retribution and get the little. Uh, uh, I'll thingy. I'll do this. Oh, a good idea, yeah. Yeah. So See, I, this... I've got to be careful to not to not like take things from. I'm you, good. Take kills from you. I'm good. Like... I'm. I'll, I'll live. Okay. Yeah, but you're. I don't like. I'm saying I joined when we were doing the Lost update, so that was Lost and Isaac. So I was oh, okay. You just didn't drop anything. Uh. So, yeah, you could go in there, or we could go all puff, I don't know. All right. We'll go normal. I joined when we were doing Isaac's refresh and loss update, so I'm not super... I wasn't during, like, Samson's development. Yeah. I still don't understand the whole Killer Instinct thing. I wouldn't say I don't understand <laughs> it, but I can see if somebody goes in here and uh plays this mod they're not going to understand why did i just die after i use killer instinct i i i think that's exactly it it's like i don't think it's bad that the characters have some complexity i think a character that takes you four or five runs to understand is not a bad thing but dying and having no idea why or how to prevent it the next time that's where there's an issue <laughs> yeah i think a lot of the characters have a bit layer they have one simple ow one simple layer of complexity where it's like hey this is the guy who uses fists as his normal attack and yeah, he's got yeah. rocks and stuff and then the complex thing comes from using killer instinct mm -hmm. trying to I think min max with it for yeah for uh what's his name uh for lost i think that complexity comes from the if, if you want to take upgrades. the risk upgrades yeah, yeah. I, I really like the idea though of like your um your holy mantle being tied to uh, to your active charge i think that's a really good idea yeah it's like it's like a different flavor of tainted lost it's not like as hard because we could have easily done like 
But there's a joke, running joke, like, oh, the, the seaside loss is gonna be item mantle, where when you get hit, you lose items. <laughs> but, uh, I'm glad that it's in this situation where it's not just even harder than the tainted loss, but it's a good, like, side grade, you know? Yeah, 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 definitely. Ooh, this is really good. Take a bit of that, thank you. To be fair, if there's nothing yeah. good in here, maybe take it worth taking the wooden nickel as well as we have money for next time. Ooh, mm. to be fair, if we could manage to get that, that'd be kind of nice. I think... Yeah, I think we should wait uh, and see how much money we have at the left, because I want to... It could just be a bear cano, though. That's, that'd suck. But... Yeah. We can get the, uh, the, the cat of nine tails, though. We're like three coins off of that. Yeah, ow. The, the thing with Isaac... I'm just going on a tangent on something different that you were saying like you didn't like the whole idea of how you boot when you pick up an item it's like oh this is not actually mine I'm gonna lose it soon. Yeah th like I, I think Isaac is just just not my flavor like not not a character that I can really enjoy it doesn't mean that he's yeah. outright bad uh it's just oh shit. It's just not really my style. Um, yeah, for me, it, it, it really felt like playing Tainted Kane, where you walk into an item room and you see Polyphemus, and for a minute you're like, oh my god, and then you realize and you're like, oh, this is pointless. By the way, the eyes are shooting at us. Yeah, I see that. Okay. It hit me like twice before I realized. Yeah, I haven't fought this champion yet. All right, uh, Dad's Step. You can take that. <laughs> I love this item. Uh, it's got a you secret can, You can take that thing. as well, to be honest. All right, yeah, I, I need health. It's got a secret uh, interaction with Dirty Mind, the uh, dad step. Oh, does it? I've never pretty seen awesome. it before. You have to have Dirty Mind, and then you have to pick up dad step. It's oh. a pretty funny thing. All right. Uh, if you want to if you wanna stop these salt rocks from spawning, you have to just, like, do the unlock, and then they yeah, stop Yeah, I'll, I'll probably just do the unlock off camera at some point. Yeah. Because I've getting, I've been getting reports like, oh, what do these salt rocks do? How do I do that? I, I think, I think as well, like it's because sometimes they look a bit weird, like this look. Where yeah, got, like, if you're a, using a Folio, then it's yeah. like weird. Right. So, back to Isaac. I was yeah. saying, uh, you were saying like that's not your cup of tea because it's like, oh, uh, you have an item and it's not yours. Th Isaac was probably the most decisive character out of all of the ones we've made, like. Half the team does not like playing Isaac at all. So yeah. I was like the only like, significant play tester because nobody. Oh my god, this item got uh, reworked recently. Let me just triggers talk a about random this. positive or negative effect. Possible effects depend on the items in the room and other factors. Yeah, so this is like if you've used Alpha Coin from V yeah, Folio, like it's like Coin, that, yeah. but instead of just what type of room you're in. It's just the factors, like, can I use this? Uh, I almost used the fool. Oh, it rerolled all the enemies. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna do a bunch of weird stuff. Oh my god, I just realized that when you when you drop the rocks, I can throw them through yeah, the Yeah, it goes, it just keeps going through, that's awesome. <laughs> He's got insane range. <laughs> Yeah, yeah but... I, I can definitely understand Isaac being pretty decisive um, but among the team. Like, you gotta I, uh... wait for these guys. You have yeah, to let them yeah. get close, and then... They're, that's an enemy, like, when I first encountered I was running around the room for a minute. <laughs> like, how do I kill this thing? The the, the one of the uh, enemy types that I really, really, really dislike, but people keep making. Yeah. I really uh, don't like it when, when the game's like, you're strong enough to kill this instantly, but I'm gonna make you wait. I like rework foes, because if you have, like... It's not like you can just ignore hosts, but if you have a run where the game's playing itself, then you don't yeah. need to wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I remember again. experimenting with an enemy like that. It's from, we don't have this mod enabled. One of the first enemy mods I did was Krabby's Koreans. Oh, yeah, I've and... got Krabby's on at the moment. I probably should put Krabby's on at some point. Yeah. It's, it's got updated to a Pentagon, so it should be much more stable. I don't the... think I actually, I don't know why I disabled it. I think I think I was just it was I just, just had, bugs. and I don't, I don't even know if it was yeah. the bugs. I think I just had too many mods on and it wasn't a high priority mod sort of thing. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, you would probably see like one room from it if you were playing with Feedfilio. It does have yeah. compatibility though, and if you go to uh, chapter five, there will be there's mini bosses, oh, like nice, alternate okay. mini bosses. <laughs> we had we were developing that before Fiendfolio came out, but oh, really, it, it just came it just came out before, and they had chapter five mini bosses. So we're like, all right, ah. <laughs> yeah. So 
I'm gonna use the chance cube here. It does yeah. different things. Like for example, there's an item pe pedestal in the room, so it's gonna do something related to that, or not, or, or we'll not. Just spawn a thing <laughs> let's, randomly. Let's, let's wait. Let's leave the item then. Let's let's, let's keep right. trying. Yeah, because this item, I don't. It the what it originally did was like the most complicated thing in the world. It was like <laughs> it was a remnant of like bef the before times, <laughs> as in the before times were. Like, half the Epiphany team right now are completely new. I'm not paying attention at all. But most of the people that were there from day one... Hey, look, we could get Clandescent card, right? I think it's I think that that's the you... only item it is. That's a trapdoor to each shop that leads to a black market. I'm actually going to go for that, I think. We don't have a lot of money right now. I think that's worthwhile. Um, yeah. Do you, you want to... Uh, yeah, go for it. Oh, okay, they're uh, gone. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> it's worth a try. Yeah, this item works on, like... A uh, positive and negative t side where it will choose an effect and every effect has a positive and negative variant. That's pretty cool. Hey, look, it's this mirrored thing. I haven't played this mod for a very long time. Can I? Wait, hold on. I want to see if I can. No, you okay, can. Oh, oh, you can maybe. Did you try dash into it? I tried dashing it. into it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair I, I just had the wrong thing equipped. I, I absolutely <laughs> love mirror items. Oh, by the way, something that I've been meaning yeah. to ask with Epiphany, because I did use Epiphany yeah. for a while. Uh, I think I ended up disabling it just because of the, um, the lag yeah, added by just... it. It wasn't specifically a laggy mod, but when you have a lot of other mods on, it adds a significant amount. Um, but one thing that I really like... I, I, I didn't not like it, but one thing that I found that was really crazy is the golden item chances were, like, crazy. Yeah, we changed that with the with the lost update. They oh are significantly decreased. Because I, th I think it was, like, a two or, f or like, five percent like, chance. To yeah, find you would one. find them all over and the place. And it was li literally it was a guarantee of one a run, pretty oh. much. I'm sucking. I'm losing. Great. What is this? Oh, this is, like, the rare chest. It's a temperance chest. Oh, I have to pay. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. I've got a lot of HP. Oh. Sorry. Oh, you have, uh... <laughs> got the M80 you have on. M9. Hey, look. Uh, I think back. Oh, I'm, I'll, I'll try to reroll. Okay, bye. <laughs> it also exploded. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, it's dumplings. dumpies. Yeah. <laughs> Fun fact about these guys, they didn't make the cut to Repentance because specifically Kilburn hated, yeah, hated them, them, like, with a passion. Yep. <laughs> Wait, I, uh, honestly. You should probably take this it's the thing that uh makes sacrifice rooms pay out twice oh shit okay um yeah honestly i kind of agree with him dumpies were awful i'm i'm hoping that they're not as bad as they were yeah <laughs> like oh, we, we got black, the, black market the two, oh, the two main issues is that first of all they wouldn't attack they wouldn't directly attack you oh is this, this is the thing from warp zone yeah warp zone's a cool oh. mod i love warp zone all right what we got going on here egg Oof. What is that? Oh, it's greed butt. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's it's reflected greed butt. So we get two of them. Um, uh, so that we, we 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 get a we get a greed butt each. I think. I think it splits into two. So let me try this out. Yeah, we get a greed butt each. <laughs> There's two of them. Greed butt's an insane item, by the way. Greed butt mitosis. Also, you probably want to buy cyst, maybe, or that's that a bit too risky. I don't know. I don't I'll, think that's good for me. I'll take cyst. I think I'll take this though. Um, and then sh shall I soul of Isaac the rest of these, or is that too risky? Yeah, you should. You should. Soul of Isaac. Oh, What's so, this? So I haven't seen this before. Sleep pills. Um, drop a pill of sedatives every floor, and after clearing six rooms, there's an additional reward. I don't know what those. Neither do I. Hey, it's a pill crusher. We got. Lots I wouldn't of pill use things. this. It's pill, pill it's... crusher, sleeping pills, and uh, placebo pill. I wouldn't use the pill crusher because currently it's bugged with Fiend Folio because they like re-implement the. System. I'm gonna take deep pockets because yeah. we have greed butt and you have to fill his butt with coins <laughs> uh, uh, Do you know how greed butt works? No, I don't so, I so, think so it's... Basically, it's like it's like little dumpy, but kind of on crack so you can't it only works once a room But it, it blocks any and all damage so any oh. damage you would take it blocks one hit uh, But it can only be recharged by coins. Oh, I and, see I just got hit and it. Yeah, that it's it's, pr it's pretty damn strong. It only takes like five coins to replenish, and uh, yeah, we, we have deep pockets, like... so <laughs> we're going to be replenishing My... it pretty often. Mine is like uh, it's a transparent. Yeah, it's like it like fills up. Mm -hmm. Um, one more yeah. room, we'll go back to the item room and try and reroll it again or whatever that'll do. Ooh, these bats! Oh, look, I these forgot guys. about these. These things oh, don't mess with God. your controls. These. No, these are the wrong ones. You're thinking of the echo bats. These are the oh, wrong I am, bats. Yeah. Ah, okay. So, okay. 
I have a bit of a history of this enemy because the original release of Restored Monsters had a bug where they would not come down from the like little perch and they would just soft lock the room. Oh shit. <laughs> and we fixed that immediately. But the issue was that Steam is really weird when it comes to Yeah, we're gonna reroll this. Or yeah. use the See what cube. happens, yeah. But Steam's really weird with uploading okay bye. Oh, never mind. Like tainted can do. That's cool. I filled up my greed butts, okay. But Steam had an issue with uploading, so everybody was stuck at the first version and nobody noticed. Uh... So I kept getting reports of this this enemy does not work or something like that. Even and it was just it. for the past like five months and I had no clue what was happening. So we're like, okay, we're just going to re-upload the mod because... Yeah, that's, that's, that's <laughs> not a bad idea. I, I feel like I still get messages to this day about that. Uh, I think I'm going to do this. Rage mode on this it, boy. Like, it, uh, you lose two health, like, uh, two red health from that. That's okay, because I can heal you, though. Yeah. Um, what, what's, what's our damage looking like? We've both got very similar damage. I think you need damage more than I do, so you can take that. Yeah. I think it should be fine, you can take that. Come on. Um, we'll we'll go down here, why not? Why not? Let me try this again, because I feel like the entire time I've been just pressing the wrong button for this. Okay, never mind, I can't dash to that. Maybe it, like, the reflected items and spicy keys work differently, though, so the reflected items yeah. might work. I, I've been just pressing the wrong button because of my <laughs> controller, and I usually don't play controller. Like, um, I can I can go through here for free if I... Oh, okay, uh, you can, can't you? Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll go back in there. I've just, just never done that because I've just been missing the entire time, or just pressing the wrong button. Okay, never mind. Uh, I think you may have just missed. I, 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 I gotta say, I think yeah. you just mistimed it. I know the the, the, uh, the timing is incredibly tight specific for that. Hey, look, Ooh. reverse emperor. Give it a go. Why not? I want to do this first. You have change and not in a good way. Okay, I'm gonna try to let's do the bo the boss trap room first because I'm really low. Next That's time I idea, get hit, yeah. then we can go do that. And then I'll just save the Emperor. Okay. Yeah, right, speaking of the Emperor, guy. I feel like I've gone on three different tangents because <laughs> we've encountered like yeah, things. Yeah, we, we, we didn't even remotely finish our thought on Isaac, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, the unlocks for all the characters are very unique, besides Judas, because we haven't done that yet. But all of them have like a special unlock uh, thing where each of them are unlocked in a different way, and it's like a little mini quest. Yeah. And the Tainted Lost one is especially evil because you need to throw your uh, your holy card in the beginning of the first room and come back after you beat the boss. Uh. And somewhere in between that, you need to fight, like, bosses. Oh, okay. This guy. It's the anti golem, but got him. Nope, missed. Nope. <laughs> it's one of these endings. It's like, oh, I gotta, I gotta <laughs> stop and think. I gotta actually think about this. Uh, yeah, but and uh, not anti golem. You need to fight immediately after every single boss a reverse emperor boss. Ah, oh, my god. It's it's pretty interesting. It's one of those things. I would probably just take the. We can take them the both. Mind. Yeah. Uh, nah, I'm fine. I'm a purist. I never do that. Uh, nice. Fair enough. Fair I think enough. that's cheating. Like lunar items. Oh, hi. <laughs> do you want to uh, actually start getting hit and get down to health so we can yeah. get the uh, I think I'll do that for like the last room. Oh. Okay, I accidentally used that. Sorry. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I keep pressing the swap uh, button. Oh, no, you can't do this to me. My fly. That back. How dare they steal your fly? Yeah. All right, you're done. Easy. Oh, High restored item collections causing. Air. Check that. Is it illusion hearts? Okay. Yes, I guess it it's illusion. Hearts. All right. I I thought we fixed that. I'll I'll look in that. Because yeah, I'll take one of these. Cool. Because there we've been having some issues being reported about the the custom hearts and them just not working. 
Maybe it's a mod compatibility error. Are, are the, is like, Illusion Hearts the one that like spawns a copy of yourself? Yeah, a copy of yourself. Oof. I'm glad we're not using that. Okay, thank you, Craig. But uh, I'm glad. Ooh. Oh my god. One percent chance planetarium, baby. Very, very rare. I am not paying attention because I'm looking at the planetarium. Gives you it's a random thing. planetarium item. Okay, that's pretty good. We'll take that. Why not? I remember Ipecac Community Mod had an item like that, but what would end up happening the way it was coded is that if you used oh, any God, D4 yes. effect, yeah. it would just give you every single planetarium item. Yep, yep. That was hilarious. I had some really funny bugged runs with that. <laughs> what? Right, I'll let you Black take Black another Black. few items because I've just realized that I have absolutely hoarded the past. I'm like... fine. Uh, let's wait to take that. I want to take it, but I want to take damage before I do that so we yeah. can go into the trap room. Oh, hi, and oh, yeah, man, I I want to point out the room name of this. This is a vanilla oh, room. Oh, I know. By the way. Yes, yes, it is the racist <laughs> place. Horrible. The I'm gonna I'm gonna use this the, outside. Yeah, use this in like a different place. Yeah, because it's by pool. Yeah, it is. Yeah, actually, I might even wait and see if we get a, a devil eye. Go in the secret room, actually, because we Ooh. could get we could get something good. Yeah, but then oh, again. Oh. <laughs> really? This is so oh annoying. We go all the way around. Uh, but we could oh. also end up getting GB bug. <laughs> oh, yeah, you could also get GB bug. I remember I'll give it a like, go. the I'll last give it a two go. times I used it in here, I got token bag. I love token bag. Uh, it doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't? Nothing, nothing happens if I press space bar. Really? Yeah, literally nothing happens. Can you look at the console? Uh, that should... That's a big issue. I should probably report that. I have already reported this, I'm pretty sure, but right. I guess it just hasn't been... Just try using it here. Does it not do anything? It literally doesn't do anything. Bugged mod. Fix your mod, June. How could you? How dare you waste my... We can... Waste my heart. We can... We can re-roll it, though. If we, we can, Or yeah. use the chance key button. <laughs> yeah, chance key... We had an issue where people would just keep using it. Okay. Like, there was a pickup on there, so we just turned it into a fly. <laughs> It didn't prioritize the item. It prioritized yeah, we just had an issue where people would just fish for only using it in item rooms. So we had oh. to make a bunch of random, like, item effects. Yeah, like, yeah. it blowing up. Or it blowing up and dropping pickups so that people just didn't use it That's for, it. Take some like, damage just room. recharge. Uh, oh yeah. I should probably do that. Alright, All right, there you go. Cool. Let's go have a little look. Fill up your butt. Yep. <laughs> God. <laughs> the uh, phrasing is uh, peculiar, but... This is a, oh god, I almost ran to the heart. <laughs> I can heal you as soon as you get in here as well, yum heart. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, oh yeah, I forgot about that mechanic. Why are, is it, is it we because... We were just talking we, so much that we're just forgetting about Isaac. I mean, we all have to be at one health. That's not fair. <laughs> yeah. But... Oh my god, this is so frustrating. <laughs> to go all yeah. the way around every time. Alright, let me get the uh, black candle. Good old black First candle. Community. Hell yes. And extra devil deal chance as well. Yeah. What a good item. Ooh, uh, got the, the dark horn. The dark horn fell. Yeah. I like the repentance boss champions. Yeah, it's such a I good I wish they did That's champions so for Wormwood. Oh god. I yeah, live? I don't know why Wormwood's one of the ones they don't have any champions It's for. because Wormwood is a segmented enemy and it's a bit harder to ah, do champions I see, for that. Maybe we're from Pentagon. They would be able to. Okay, just went through the. Um, I think that's a that's a feature. Did he? Are, are we sure? Is he just gone? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think uh, I'm just gonna have 10. to. Yeah, exactly. I've never seen that happen. I probably knocked him out of the out of bounds. Hey, look, <laughs> hey. our cheater item. <laughs> we got uh, I bonus. want this. Yeah, you can and have I'll the smooth stone as well if you want. And then, what's my fire rate? Uh, yeah, that. I'll take that, yeah. And uh, you can take up. the... You can fill up the heart. But... Nice. I'm trying to, like, go back in time. Yeah, we could just go. And see what things we were talking about. Because the viewer's probably like, Man, you didn't finish <laughs> formulate that sentence. absolutely fried from all the topics we're talking about. Nothing's ever been finished. I think we, we didn't really finish talking about Isaac. We only got Isaac. partially way but, through that. 
so so before that the dumpling thing in originally they would just wander around and not attack you directly which just made it so like it was one of those enemies that just runs away from you yeah so we made it so that they uh they directly target they you seek you out now yeah yeah and another thing was specifically room design where if there was too many rocks in the room they would just kind of hover hey look thanks uh cube they would kind of just hover over the rocks and just not let you kill them. So uh, a lot of the room the design was... thing, yeah. Hey, look, hush fly, very rare room. And just hush fly. Been room as well, yeah. Here. Yeah. Uh, so we did that. A lot of the we we changed the mechanics of a lot of the enemies so that it's not like we're just adding unused content for the sake of being unused and just yeah, yeah, yeah. looking at it and being like. You actually want to not understanding it, yeah. why they got rid of it. That's actually been a big, uh, what is it? Big thing about team compliance that people don't really like about them, among other things. Okay, we don't, we can't afford this. Yeah, I don't know why Let's I did look that. At here. Probably should have done it in this room here. Actually, yeah. <laughs> Oops. Uh, bad company. I want. Yeah, you should probably take the that. Yeah. Car battery. Hey, it's a panomatic. What the hell's this? It's a it use three cents to use, and it deals fake damage to you, and it can give you a damage up, drop a pickup, uh, or gulp your trinket. Mm. Usually, the gulping of the trinket is the best thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blows up. Okay. Thanks for the rock heart. Interesting. Oh. Yeah, but yeah, it's cool. mainly like a trinket gulping type thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I always like it when there's like me different methods of gulping trinkets. Yeah, I really shouldn't have used them, used the thingy in this room. I don't know why I did that. But I, I think it's because he, when when the mod first came out, I can't remember which mod adds the uh, mystery gift card. Is it Feed Folio? Yeah. Um, yeah, when but, it first came out, it was bugged to just yeah, have it be free. Yeah. It, it was just made him free, and I think I'm just like oh. still thinking that that's the case. Point. Uh... What happens if I use this in... Oh, I'm just going to use it here. Okay, I just rerolled everything. I think with Chance Cube, we... Uh, it's hard to make effects for it that are fair, because we need to also have a positive uh, counterpart to it, so it's like yeah. it either rolls a positive or negative effect. Well, I guess with the I guess with the rerolling enemies, it could either be current D10 or old D10. Yeah. As the positive and negative. I think that's the negative. The negative effect oh. is just rerolling stuff. Uh, you just take that. I, I think I, it this would, is it my would be absolute bad. favorite item in the entire game as well. Yeah, fruit cake. Fruit cake is awesome. No way, pay chest. Ooh, oh, yeah, okay. the pay chest is pretty cool. We don't have enough money for it though. It costs. They cost about. I think it's random amounts, but they usually cost up to seven. So I don't think we have enough. Oh no, God. Don't. Uh, all right. So back to the Isaac thing. Yeah. Isaac was like a really decisive character, but we had to change him because basically he was just tainted Isaac creative mode where you can just get whatever quality for item you want. Yeah, because it the way it worked, but he went through a bunch of iterations like one of them was very close to how he originally was, but it was more focused on how when you reroll an item, it does not keep the quality that it originally was. And it would mm, fluctuate okay. up and down. That still happens. Yeah, yeah uh, you've seen the video where it'll be like, oh, plus one or whatever. Does that kill it? Yeah, it's... it does. Um, but then we we went to this whole rotting thing, which I think was the best decision we did because that's what the character started to revolve around. I think the Before rotting this? thing is a, is a really interesting idea. I think um, I think my sort of only thing about it is like I just wish there was a way to prevent it. I wish it wasn't forced or like yeah. Which I I also get why it's forced because you you want people to interact with the character mechanic. You don't want it to be optional mm -hmm. really. But at the same time, it's also yeah. Like, like I was sort of saying when when I was messaging, I kind of suggested that it'd be a good idea to only start the item. Ow. <laughs> How on? Okay, an orbital so, strike. No, so, so let's just recap what just happened there. I just threw a rock, and because of continuum, it went off the screen like four times and came back, and Fruitcake gave it an explosive <laughs> effect. <laughs> that's so awesome. <laughs> I love Fruitcake. Oh my god, that's so funny. Two whole runes. We could uh, we get a free item from this. Yeah. Uh, in one. that one room. Let's um, go there. Whereabouts is the room? Uh, wait. Brainworm. 
Oh, you want brain worm? God damn, yes, I want brain worm. Very nice. Uh, where is that one thing? The black hey, marker. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, I gotta I'm say, I, I, I definitely, mm. I definitely like, uh, like the idea. Oh, it's gone. What? Excuse me. Uh. Oh, is it because we opened a different trap door? I think that is why. That's You're weird. Right. That's really weird. Wait, wait, wait. We need to go to our, uh, our money chest. We've got enough. That makes sense now. because the only way to get to a black market is through a trap, other trap door. It must have just like do that. I did not know it would work oh, that yeah. way though. Come on, big money. Oh. I did it. Yay. Oh, that's better. Uh, you, can have, you can have the silver. I want the Dauntless well. Heart, yeah. Oh my god, this <laughs> yeah, Another tangent. Ah! I... Uh, well, this is a heart. Just pick it up. You have a bone heart. I lost my brimstone. Oh yeah, you did. I forgot. <laughs> That's a cool item. Polaris. That you... it, it is, but it can be really annoying on some runs. Sometimes you don't want brimstone. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Oh, lovely. Ow. Oh, I got hit by a... Oh, yeah, that works. A bomb fly, yeah. Uh... Yeah, you can have that, and then I'll have one Lock. of the hearts. I want the black heart. Oh, you already took one? I Did you take one? I don't know, I I'm did, sorry. Yeah. Oh, uh, really? Man, Great item. Good. It's too lit. Okay, oh. bye. <laughs> Not very lucky with that so far. You've noticed that there's new devil rooms now, because Repentagon fixed an issue where devil and angel rooms from mods won't show up. Oh, really? And oh, nice. Beanfolio already had these rooms existing, but they just weren't implemented because of that reason. Ah, I did not know that. Good. I did I did make a, a room mod that, that like changed to how Devil Deal room layouts were, but it, people said it stopped working, so I'm assuming that was why. Yeah, that's really why. Because uh, originally you could only have Devil and Angel rooms that... Oh, you just teleported behind me. Oh no! It was—it was only the, you could only edit the existing ones, not add to, wasn't it? Yeah, that's what it was. Uh, do I have a? Tr no, I have the card trinket. I'm thinking I want this. Yeah, cool. I love these animations from like that one stony mod. It's so cool, isn't it? Wow! <laughs> My God, just decimated that guy. Okay, let's destroy these and move this out of the way. Move them. No. Wait for another cycle. Okay, now we move that. Yeah, this should work. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes you can get some crazy rewards out of those chests. Yeah, those chests are cool. I remember some of them being a bit weird, but I like I like that one. There's there's two from the rare chest mods that are like really kind of janky. One of them's like a it looks like a massive spire, and it, you like you've got to deal you've got to like take damage to open it. But the, it, it gives you like so much good stuff. Like what is this black market? Is a black market? Yeah, it's a black market. So many black markets. Oh, no. there's a guy above us. <laughs> there's an enemy up there. I wish people would expand on crawl, space, crawl spaces. I want a crawl space floor. Somebody make that happen. <laughs> That'd be pretty uh, cool. Um, I, I want to take this. I'll take this. And that's it. Let me get this. Oh. oh I forgot you can, I had this. Yeah, yeah I forgot about I that think too. I will get this. Nice. Why is there a ladder here? Where There's a ladder us? and a door. Um, oh, it's probably because clandestine card. Weird. A little bit peculiar. Uh, this weird black rune. Oh yeah, this is Repentance Plus do this, I don't know why. Oh yeah, one of the Repentance Plus heart, uh, soul hearts. My god, so many oh, salt Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh it's my okay. god, I just deleted it. We didn't it. need it, we didn't need it. Oh. Don't oh, no. need that. Oh. Hey, look. Hey, look, we got another one. Yeah, you take it because my... Oh, God. My controller tendencies may cause me to accidentally use it. Oh. Cool. You got Black Rune. Nice. Okay. 
Yeah, I definitely think the um, the sort of design ideas are, like are pretty interesting. Um, but I, as you said, I think I think it's going to be one of those kind of like marmite things where some people will love it, some people will hate it. Um, mm -hmm. Just just based on the fact that oh, you can use I that could here. spawn three. Of um, those. Just based on the fact that some people are going to be like, yeah, I don't want people taking my items away. <laughs> yeah, and you try to. It's like that's a a common mod thing where it's like, oh, we're going to put unlocks next to this character that nobody cares about so that people play him. But yeah, uh, I don't know. I, I want I for at least with Epiphany, Epiphany has multiple characters. So it's not like if one of them is a miss, it's not like everybody's going to be a mess. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. And also, I, as well, like I, Isaac is a particularly hard one to do stuff with. Yeah, a lot of times. Oh, man, I want that card. I'm going to get it. Sometimes there's cards, or sometimes there's uh, designs that are like, how could people not like this, you know, mm. when you're testing? But it's just like the group of people that you're probably, uh, that you're making the mod with. I don't know. Sometimes there's like a disparity between modders and players of what they prefer. Like, I yeah. feel... I feel like players wouldn't care too much about quality, like quality mechanics, but I know modders hate quality mechanics. So let's just go to the boss. I think players, a lot of players actually really like quality mechanics. But... Yeah, I have like comments on mods like, oh, you should change this item from quality this to quality that because of their effect. I'm like, quality doesn't really matter. Under, un only under very specific circumstances does it actually matter. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's test this thing. Can I avoid it? No. Nah, it doesn't. I got that show us. Alright, uh it's not yeah, it's not, uh not my heart yet. Oh my god, what oh. the hell? <laughs> I just knocked him to the trash here. Oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> this this boss is, is cool. He's not I, having a good time right now. This uh, Oh wow, that was knockback does not work well. That was you weird. take that, you need that. Uh I you have less damage than me, you should take that. Okay. I'm gonna just use this. Ah, no. ah, no. Ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, chance cube's pretty funny. We got so a challenge like, with it where you would just use it randomly, or you have it in the pocket just, and you would use it as much as possible. Like a one room charge version. Yeah. Um. So in terms of like the sort of like upcoming Epiphany characters, like are you working on some of them as well, or like working sort of alongside uh, on those? I, yeah, uh, I can't really say much. But wow, I've realized it's, yeah, under yeah, wraps a little bit. We're, the mod definitely has more characters, you know? Quite a few more characters. Yeah. That's another thing, another thing that you were saying, like, it's hard to fit the design with the theme of the original characters. I think that's a fun challenge to It is, definitely. To it's, it, it's not always mm -hmm. bad thing to have restrictions. Also, why am I so tiny? Oh, uh, that one item, the planetarium item you picked up? Uh, that of course. That changes every floor. Yeah. Ow. What? Oh, I use the... I use the champ cube, that's why. Wacky cube. I'm just going here. I would bump Alright, uh... You take... Oh, you have the black in. I'll use this. Glass yeah. Well. And then I'll just use this. Yeah. Do you, does anybody ever use that? No. It's, it's it's so weird how, like, like some of the soul stones are amazing, and other ones are, like, the most basic boring yeah, effects. It's like, oh, soul love gives you an item, and then there's, like, one that's like, oh, I spawned three wisps. Great. Yeah. Uh... But, oh look, it's this thing. Bagged Essence. What the hell uh, is that? Hey, uh, watch out. We can see what it does. Okay, never mind. We can. Oh, I, I got this. I got this. Yeah. Huzzah. It is. An, it triggers the essence. Cardiac arrest shots, dropping uh, temporary hearts. Um, interesting. Okay. Yeah, so because it, it uses it depending on what character you're playing as. Ah. So you'll just use your Magdalene Essence, and I'll use Samson's Essence. By the way, did you see how much I absolutely decimated Tarnished Maggie? <laughs> yeah, this is another one of those like break game break characters. I mean, the original Tainted Maggie is like that, but 
Oh, I, I at least I, tainted Maggie's ridiculously powerful, but I love it because it takes is what we were speaking about earlier about taking an underutilized game mechanic and making it more widely available. It like mm -hmm. it makes on hit effects good, which is weird and interesting. Yeah, I think the way that we did it with Tarnished Magdalene, it's not like a free win if you get an on hit effect. Like, oh, if you get no, Sharp not Plug, right. or if you get, uh, what is it, Piggy Bank, Infinite Money, things like that. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta kind of work a little bit for your game breaks. They're not handed to you, but it's they're still very good. I, 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 watch I, I, out. I guess I think Maggie's definitely the easiest character from the Tarnished ones so far, but not, it doesn't mean that she, like you said, she's a free win. You know, the only issue I would say with her that we have is the, the UI is just kind of like cumbersome where it's like, oh, there's just these numbers of like when you're going to lose your next heart and when you're going to get another heart. I think it would be better to just condense it into a, oh, I've never seen this. Once per room taking damage uh, below half heart. Okay. I do not need that. Yeah, I, I kind of get what you mean. Like, you'd, it'd be nice to not have the UI, but you kind of do need it. Yeah, we're trying to, uh, the big thing we're trying to do is make it so that you're able to uh, communicate what the character does with a simplistic UI. Mm. A good example of that would be Tainted Maggie and how the hearts flash. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, man, I wish I had familiars now because I love this thing. The friendship necklace. Oh, the friendship necklace is pretty good, yeah. But unfortunately, nothing to do with it at the minute. Yeah. It just looks nice. Uh, uh I should... I haven't... I've been saving up these pips for the longest. So I should probably use it. Go for it. Oh, please don't go into your phase where you're invincible. No. Can't do this. I need one more. Okay. Okay, you good. <laughs> I like this phase. It's cool. Yeah, I really like this rework. Like the the end phase, and this is one of those bosses that you just need stuff to kill you. Sean. Yeah, but I, I really like the reworked mo um, enemies. So that's like one of my favorite mods. Oh, this is so broken. My god. <laughs> we, there's no point in doing this because we yeah. already have both keys. Very, very broken item we, right there. Yeah, we took that. But, hmm. Man, I forgot all the stuff we were talking about. I'm trying I, to like, backtrack. What I, was, what I was just about to say is, basically, I think in the comments, people can let us know which points we didn't finish and be annoyed yeah, at us I, for I just, it. Um, just, and that's uh, fine. And then them, yeah. we'll probably okay. do another episode and answer them, or we'll answer them in the comments. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd be totally down to do this again. It's pretty fun. I, I was saying um, uh, to We Staff before this video that I actually really wanted to do this um, idea before, and uh, We Staff kind of offered up, like, oh, I'd love yeah, to do a video. It. And I, I actually was like, yeah, that'd be great. Because I, I do, I think it'd be really fun to have modders on my videos more oh, often. This item. Oh, just, Ow, just, bro, just ate I... that troll bomb, did you? This, this, this thing's is... stupid. This this is broken. So it sets your damage to seven, regardless of prior damage upgrades. No, normally, not good. But, doesn't matter. Mm. Sets it to seven. Yeah. You leave the room, <laughs> and it gives you, it gives you six, a... Six, six, seven. And then it gives you another seven after you leave the room for some reason. Oh what? Yeah. That's so my, weird. My, my damage got got for, went from six point six whatever it was to seven. So I've got barely any damage. Then I left the room and it just gave me another seven damage. It definitely isn't supposed to do that, but it has done for a long while. It's probably because of modded uh, what is it? Damage ups and how the stat system works. Because you can like uh, oh this this thing. A lo a lot of times like. For example, it's it wasn't very it's not easy to make items just give you a normal tears up. You have to do a lot of weird things to do that. Yeah. It's kinda hard to describe, but it's like a modder's worst nightmare <laughs> trying to implement that. Because I know Retribution uses invisible item wisps of yes. vanilla items for them to use to implement tears ups. It's just like the workarounds that people have to do for this stuff is just insane. I wanted that. I'm sorry. Uh, Rory, you have the black so rune. Oh, yeah, I do, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna just... Wait, yeah, I didn't realize what is this? Help. This is a magician. I'm just gonna... Get two pennies from it. <laughs> Yay. I'm yeah, happy I guess with I, chance, I, I definitely want to have more, uh, more modders on my videos for both Gungeon and Isaac. Um, mm -hmm. 
I need to get back into playing Gungeons VFR. I haven't, I haven't done any Gungeon videos in a while. Man, I used to play Gungeon all the time, and once I started playing Isaac, I never looked back. <laughs> I, I do enjoy what? Isaac a lot more than I do Gungeon, but mainly Gungeon. I've literally yeah. I started my channel on Gungeon and I play. Yeah, I, I did like I every day, and, and it's just like, oh my god, I'm so, I'm so burnt out on that game. <laughs> like I'm, I, I obviously over the past like month, I've been lo lowering the amount of Isaac I've been doing as well because I'm a bit burnt out on this game, but not mm -hmm. anywhere near the the amount that I am with Gungeon. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm enjoying the risk of rain. Oh, I love this thing. What are you giving me? No I way, you fortune, fortune grub. <laughs> Fuck's sake. It's, it's the one. one. No, it's not that one. It's the one that uh, it it's for beggars instead. So ah, it's not, okay, I'm, okay. we're not going to be seeing a bunch of messages. But I love the fortune worm. There was yeah. a big thing where the the leftover takeout was a treasure item, but oh, yeah, people yeah. hated it because it would just like fill the screen with a bunch of garbage. <laughs> so then they changed it to a curse room item. But it makes it so that you see it less often, which sucks. Yeah. I love that to, item. It, it used to be, oh, like, used to be good. quite a lot. Oh my god, it is pretty good. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I think you were saying about Risk of Rain. I've been really enjoying doing Risk of Rain. I really like that. Yeah. Oh, and Risk of Rain's been very weird on YouTube, though. Because typically, YouTube... Obviously, I've been mm -hmm. doing YouTube for like five years. Typically, the first 24 hours is when you get most of your views. Pretty much yeah. everyone knows that. Um, but Risk of Rain doesn't work that way, and I'm not quite sure why. For some reason, in Risk of Rain, the first 24 hours, it gets literally barely any views, like 60 or 70 max, which is really low for me. <laughs> and then, like, over the course of the next three or four days, it'll get, like, another 800 views. And I, I really don't understand what happens. But it happens every That's episode. Weird. Ooh. I Ooh. want this, and um, then we can just re-roll that. Yeah. I kind of don't want bag crafting. You can eat that, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I, I kind of, I don't like Eden's Blessing because what ends up happening is I'll play one run and then when I'm like testing mods and stuff, then I'll start with another item. I'm like, well, I guess <laughs> I wasted that. Yeah. Um, well, for, for a long time, Eden's Blessing just didn't work for me. I don't know why, mm. but one of the mods I had had a weird interaction with it. It just never worked. So I just, yeah, I just assume it never, never works now. What? Wait, let me read. Uh, okay, I could do this. Oh my god. But you can end, talk while I'm doing this. Oh my god, there's there's fires. I'm scared. Oh god. No. Alright, we're good. They don't shoot more than once, I think. No, they don't. Man, if there's anything, if there's one single thing I could ask to be permanently removed from modding, it's these fucking stupid color block key things. <laughs> I absolutely I despise them. Oh man, I they you can't fly over them, which is it, it depends on the room creator. Like I remember talking about this one room. It's called Slot in the Key. It's a secret room, and yeah. from uh, Theme Folio, and it has a keeper in front of one of the. I'll take this. It has a keeper in front of one of the uh, the key blocks. So you're yeah. like, oh, I want to get the item. I'm gonna yes, put the uh, I know exactly key in there. Which one you mean. And then it does not open it. <laughs> yeah, that that one's pretty creative. I really like that because obviously once you know, like it's mm. fine. But until then, it's That's yeah, it can it can screw you over. Um, but oh my god, in 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 combat rooms specifically, uh, I yeah. absolutely despise them. And, Those and, and the one key thing, master guys. Oh, yeah, man. the key master. I was gonna say key master is. Uh, I've heard countless times is being reworked next update. Yeah, because uh, they were like. Oh, don't make any community rooms with it, because we're going to completely rework it. Evil key masters. It's just, as I was saying earlier with, like, enemy designs that make you wait, it's it's another one of those situations where the key the, the key block rooms are just designed mm. to, to, to waste your time. It's designed to make you, like, spend longer in a room, but it really annoys me. God. I call these runs like baby sensory run because you're just not even <laughs> yeah. paying attention and it's just the game plays itself and there's just yeah. a bunch of flashing colors. See, this uh, this this uh, item we've got that's turning enemies into like the Steven colors. Have yeah. you seen what it does with bombs? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's really it just, broken. It's pretty awesome. Goodbye. Hey, look. Lovely stuff. Uh... Yeah, I, I completely we'll agree with you. Use... This is very much a, a baby century video sort of run. <laughs> it's just chaos. Yeah. 
I think it's fine though. I remember. Oh, I just knocked that bomb away. Uh, there's item designs. Like, I don't think we're gonna see them very much, but there's an item in Restored Collection called Dice Bombs, which re-rolls a pedestal every time you blow it up. It's like basically that's, just a free that's win. An, that's an item from um, from yeah. Undermine. Uh oh, it is. I don't know. Yeah, that. yeah, Undermine that's... has that. I remember, uh, well, how does the bomb economy work in that game? Because can you just get a bunch of bombs? Instantly? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's like, broken, it's, it's, yeah. Not, it's not quite as crazy as in I Isaac. Hope. Isaac, I feel like you can get more bombs. Um, okay. But the bomb, you can get quite a lot of bombs. That that game is, is pretty interesting, though. It has some really interesting, like, economy of, of like, duping things and stuff. And you can get mm -hmm. make some really, really broken runs if you get the right potions. Ugh. Gold. Ruthless stuff. I like these, uh, the, the rock sprites are really cool. Yeah, they the are. The Samson ones. Yeah, yeah. Like little bits of gold and stuff. We notice that we've only seen, like, one or two restored monsters this entire run. Fiendfolia dominates all. Yeah. I, I, I feel like I see a bit more in my experience, but I don't know. I really like the you. rework of this boss fight. Yeah, th this is this is a boss that like super desperately needed a rework. Regular Blue Baby was just the most boring, plain thing ever. Yeah, it was just like a rehash of the. No, it wasn't a rehash because you would just immediately kill it. Yeah. What I just? Oh, I got interrupted when. Oh. So... All right, I healed you. I healed you. I have no clue what's happening. Uh, God, this deck's cool. <laughs> oh my God! Well, there you go. Oh, that, nope, nope. It's not done uh, yet. <laughs> why? I, I didn't even mean. Boy. I didn't even mean to go in here. I just kind of fell. Yeah. Ooh, oh. a you can take the, take shot. the, uh, yeah. Oh, let's just do this and go wherever. I mean, we're, we're definitely going to die to Delirium, but I've got the no Telefrag mod on at least, so... Yeah. He'll be slightly more fair. Oh my god, this Del Delirium is going to be horrible with this character. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's uh... going to be it's gonna be awful. I, I haven't done Delirium. Man, I don't remember the last time. time I fought Delirium. Yeah, I, I just like, I, I, I usually just thing. end the run immediately after. Same. I haven't done Delirium in a while. It's literally since I've been going for unlocks so the last time I did Delirium, I think. Hmm. At least this floor is a bit interesting, more interesting with Repentagon because uh, alt path uh, rooms can spawn. Alt path rooms can spawn, yeah. And then um, one of the mods I have on adds is a bunch of extra rooms as well. Hmm. Well, surely we'll see them with Finfolia, right? <laughs> Not two dimes. Wait, I'll get them get... just What's in this? case we need them for something. Uh, okay. Hey, if uh, Delirium turns into Mom's heart, uh, <laughs> insta kill again. Yeah. I kind of forget that you can do that. Hmm. Hey, look, multi tool. Does the Snagger even pick up the multi tool? I don't think so. That'd be a bit strange. Huh. But yeah, this has definitely been fun, and I'd definitely be down to do it again at some point. Um, yeah. I, I just, I just think it's. Mush. It's, <laughs> it's kind of just cool to like get a bit of a deeper insight at like some of the some of the different mods mm -hmm. um and also like speak to someone with a bit of a different perspective on it as well because as i said before i've kind of like become an echo chamber of my own thoughts in my videos of just like talking like yeah. about sort of how i felt about epiphany in the past and sort of how i felt about some of the characters so i think it's good to kind of get a bit, a bit more perspective on some of it mm. It makes me feel better. I me, when going into this mod, I didn't like it either. <laughs> a lot of the things I did not like. Uh, yeah, definitely think it's, it's definitely improved quite though. a bit. Yeah, definitely. As mods do. Ooh, uh, a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, I forgot about that item. Divine interventions. I didn't actually know it was going to spin down into that, but divine interventions decent. I think, like, one thing I didn't realize about it is you can use it as kind of like a shotgun, just get really close up to enemies and use it, and it does quite a bit of damage. Yeah, you pu if you push enemies into walls, that does a uh, bunch of damage. Okay. 
Oh, great. I should have probably not done that because yeah, we got three two bosses. Items. Three bosses. Yeah, this right guy. In the row. I'm gonna get an out there as well. <laughs> <laughs> This boss is awesome. I don't know what goes on with this guy with the items we've got, but it does not like it. Ooh, Mum's repository, hell yeah. That's a tears down. This is oh look, Emperor. Wait, let me use it because I have uh the Yes, you do. Don't use it yet, the though. He's, at, he's after this one. Oh yeah. Oh, I could have one shot her. No. <laughs> oh. Surely we'll hey, look, magic, magic skin. skin. How dare you? Great. Isn't the, the next one should be Delirium, surely, right? Hopefully. We say that, but we yeah. never know. Alright, uh, hey look. I want this. Take the food. Rock. The rock it's... going through walls is so awesome. It is. It's, it's so annoying that when you're holding a rock, you can't pick up items. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I always forget, and like I'm like, why can't I pick up this goddamn item? I'm like, oh yeah, I'm holding a rock. Hi. It was bomb traps. I should use. I don't. I want to use bombs, but at the same time, I don't want to like. I have sticky bombs actually. This should be fine. There we go. That was good. We could share this. Give me some. Nice. I don't remember my max health. No, it's, it's it looks it looks weird, doesn't it? Yeah. One thing I'm excited for with the November update. Uh, is the co-op, uh, not online co-op, because I can't use mods there, no point, but, uh, the, the, uh, the UI is going to be better, because for a lot of the characters, ah, the nice, UI yeah. straight up just does not work. Yeah, yeah, I know, it doesn't, does it? Uh, I'm good at this. I'm probably going to do a little bit of online co-op. Like, obviously, with not being able to have mods is, like, a huge downer. Um, oh, no, you're dead, aren't you? Oh, no. I'm gonna die. That no, was... I can't blow up. I can't do this. No. no. Okay, bye. Yep. <laughs> yep. I could talk a bit about the mechanic. I wasn't here for it when it was made, but it's one of those things where you, you would never want to use it during a uh, normal rooms because you're not guaranteed that the next three rooms are going to be combat rooms so you may just yeah. blow up it's one of those things that you can ignore but at the same time it's not completely robbing the character of everything that it stands for yeah you know so i think i think it's harmless it's a big it's a big risk but it's one of those risks that you, i feel like you would only take if you are if you got a guarantee room. yeah yeah. As, but at the same time, it, it would be very hard to implement it the same way that Tainted Samson does. Yeah. And not feel feel like it's forced. At least it has it's it's a part of the revive mechanic. So if you die and you have uh, depending on how many like pips of damage you have, you'll live that long and potentially be able to survive with half a heart. Well, yeah. Not yeah. Gonna go well. I'm, I'm basically just accepting my death here. Yeah. Because I, I can't be asked sitting and fighting this thing on my own for this long. <laughs> there you go. This thing sucks. Oh, wait, what? Hey, look. Yeah, that one item. Oh, yeah. I forgot we had this. And if you survive for 15 seconds, okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, that was fun. Oh, that was a good time. Oh, I hope everyone right. did enjoy this. And as I said, if you do like it, let me know. And uh, also, try and. Um, untangle the mess of thoughts that we had and ask questions about it because I'm sure there is about 18 topics that we never finished our thoughts on. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I'd, definitely be, I'd definitely be down for doing this again um, and talking a bit more about the mod and just a bit more about Isaac mm -hmm. in general. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in a bit. Goodbye.